Daly scored a double to lead Clarendon College to a 4-2 win over St. Elizabeth Technical in, the Issa, in, in their Issa Ben Francis Cup semifinal played at Manchester High. The Primetime Sports Issa Flow Schoolboy Football Review brought to you by... Why didn't you sneak inside your bag? Enjoy. These are the kingpins of rural area football, Clarendon College and Estes. So just imagine the fireworks whenever the two meet. Well, it was fireworks all the way between the two in a game which went to extra time. The net started bulging when Tajay Palmer broke the deadlock for Stets. They held the lead until the 67th minute. McHugh Daly, one of the best players in the competition, snatching an equalizer for Clarendon College. Five minutes later, Stets were reduced numerically. Target man Demar James red carded after picking up a second yellow. But Stets weren't daunted and were awarded an 81st minute penalty. Clifton Woodbine putting away the spot kick, but only just as Stets went up to one. Clarendon College's exuberance to fight back led to Sanjay Williams picking up a second booking, which led to a red card, and it was now 10 against 10. Stets must have thought they had it in the bag with time running out, but two minutes into stoppage time, Daly showed his class once more to make it 2-2. It was all Clarendon College from there on, and Lemar Walker knocked the stopping out of Stets in the 104th minute. Look at the acres of operational space driven towards the target! Clarendon College have been ominous and they are back in front. Lemar Walker in the second period of extra time has put Clarendon College out front once again. Now they lead it by three goals to two. And co-captain Ricardo McIntosh killed off the contest ten minutes later to make it 4-2. King Calabar has punched above their weight. Here comes Clarendon College. No! Putting the seal on things and their signature on the contest. They lead it now by four goals to two. And absolutely no doubt now as to who will move on to the grand finale. However, McIntosh's day was cut short as he picked up a second yellow for his shirtless celebration. The grand finale on Wednesday will see Clarendon College facing Dintil Technical, who knocked out Rossi's 1-0 through a goal by top player Kahim Paris. It was a cakewalk for Jamaica College over in the Walker Cup as they flogged Calabar 6-1 to reach the final. It was Calabar who took the lead, Nathan Hunter scoring in the wrong net after two minutes. But JC made the wrong right eight minutes later when Malik Howell tied it up at one apiece. And they were in front in the 16th minute, Tyreek McGee adding his name to the score sheet to make it to one. On 59 minutes, Hunter got it right by scoring at the right end to make it 3-1 for JC. The scoreline quickly widened with Gavin Thorpe adding the fourth goal in the 71st minute. And four minutes later, he added a second and Calabar were in for a mauling. Norman Campbell also got among the scorers. He made it 6-1 in stoppage time. JC's only blemish came in the 78th minute when Delvaron Simpson was red carded. I was very disappointed that we gave up a concede yet again an early goal. It's something that we have to continue looking, talking to them and even working in the training. Those first um, couple of minutes is something that we have to really um, concentrate a lot on. However, I'm happy that we bounced back. I think we passed the ball around beautifully. We could have done much better, but um, we made some mistakes. But we're happy that um, we're able to be clinical in the final third. Walker Cup final will be played on Tuesday. Venues for both the Ben Francis and Walker Cup deciders are to be announced by Issa. The Primetime Sports Issa Flow Schoolboy Football Review brought to you by... Why didn't you sneak inside your bag? Enjoy. And by the way, it is Kingston College who will join Jamaica College in the Walker Cup final as they beat Stats 1-0 in the second semifinal. Uh, Renato Campbell finding uh, the winner. Now after winning